Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my own very invention. It is called a mohawk bracelet. Yay! And this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to be um, showing you how to make it today. And that's a very exact one that I'm making. So, I hope you enjoy. And let's get started. Okay. You want to start with your loom in a stacked position. And basically, all we are going to be doing is placing our see through rubber bands. And this is going to be like, it won't really show on your um, Mohawk bracelet, but um, you might just want to try it to clear. It's the um, what I do all the time. Put one right there. And we're just going down the middle. I get a pearly clear from AC More Craft Supplies. Actually, I'm going there today just to get a refill on some stuff. You don't want your bands to be twisted, so if they get twisted, try to untwist them. Okay, so now you just want to keep one band out, and I'm doing my extension this color, so I'm going to keep the rest out. Okay, now we will be placing our, mohawk, our flower bow hot colors. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take two blues, and we're going back to the beginning, and place them right here. To right here. Now I'm taking two grays. And I'm doing the same. If you wonder where I get my hook from, I get it from AC Moore. Just like always, that's my one place to go to. It's a double sided hook. Right here. Right here. And they come in a little package. So there's not a certain size that they come in or anything. Now these rubber bands that we're placing, the blue and the gray, they're doubled. So just keep that in mind. This is a really simple design, and this is my own original design. Came up with it myself, so. And I also came up with a charm of mine. It's called the manatee charm. If all you guys know what manatee are, definitely make that. So it's fun, but it considers too long. That's the only breaking point. So you want to do this till these pegs, not on these at all. So go ahead and do that. Now we are placing our last rubber bands on of the um, mohawk colors. So these are all doubled. Now take your see through. 
um, if you can do this on your room, actually. But if you prefer to do it on your hook, put it on there. Wrap it around. Okay. So now, your room should be looking like this. And now we are going to start hooking. Okay. So now this is time where you want to get your hook. Now you can just go under that cap band. Just hook it up to the middle. Go under those rubber bands. And you want to get the bottom clear. Bring it up. And over. Get the bottom clear. Bring it over. Okay, so we brought this up and over. So now you should be seeing droplets. And just keep hooking that over until up to here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I have just finished hooking it. And now, I'm going to be hooking these. Okay, so just to make it easy, I'm going back to the end. Come under there, get the first top two. Get over there. Now do the same. So it looks like this. And you still have one down here. Get the top one. Bring it over. Now you can just do this just to loosen it up. Get the top one. Get the other one and hook it over. Now repeat this step until you've gotten to your last one. I'll go through with you once more. Go into your gray, get your top two, place it all over here. Now if this rubber band falls off, just slide it back over. Get your other one and bring it over there. Okay, now do this to the top. I have finished this project, so now <clears throat> I'm going to take another clear I'm going to put my hook into these now put my clear on the end of my hook and pull up like that now I'm going to place it on my next peg. So it looks like that. <clears throat> now we are going back to our ending and taking it off with our hook. now it looks just a little messy but we're gonna be adjusting it and 
now. Take that hook. Okay, so now that it is officially off your loom, set your loom aside. And when you first take it off, it looks like this. You just want to flip it over. Now see those rubber bands right there? Pull on them. Okay, so when you're done pulling up all the sides, and there's still some, just go in there, pull it up. Okay, when you're done, your mohawk should look like this, <clears throat> and I think it's really cool, and you can barely even see the see-through. So now you want to set your mohawk to the side, and now we want to get our loom again, and we're going to be making our extension. So get your color, it's going to be extension, and mine's just going to be see-through, and I made seven of the bands. Okay, now you want to get this rubber band that we set, put it right here, now to there. Now go into there, and pull it up, place it. Now this, we are going down the entire way, up to here. So. And the see-through is hard because it's like slippery, so it slides up my hook. So I'm doing this off camera. Okay. Okay, so I did that. And now you just want... To get a hook, I mean a clip, and to get a C clip because those come with some packets, but usually there's like an O clip or an S clip. But today I'm using good old fashioned C clip. You want to take that and slide it on this side, like that. Now we can take it off. Okay. This is what our extension looks like. You can't really see it because it's see-through. <laughs> so get our hook, which is also see-through. Let the camera focus. Now get end of our mohawk you want to find that those two and we want to just hook it on to our secret okay so now I can put my mohawk bracelet on just to show you an example looks like this could do like spiked up or spiked down. I think it looks really cool. So this is my own version of a mohawk bracelet. Hope you enjoy. And leave a comment if you want me to make up more bracelets. And check out all my posts. And hope you